Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It is another great day on the build here at Los Conscious Del Mar. And it's already about an hour and a half, maybe. Whoops, cord hanging on me. Uh, maybe two hours into this build. I didn't have time to start recording early on this morning. Been busy, busy. But let me show you a little bit of what's going on. And let's just jump right on into this day and get started. So Joe and Ellen and I, we've been talking while I was working upstairs there and he started fitting the front door jam in. Front door jam with the side lights. The guys finished this little decorative piece going up the house here yesterday. It goes all the way up and meets up there with that cantilever beam. And one over here on this side as well. Good morning, Nardo all the way up this side as well you need bombing go ahead man sorry and then uh we're making one like this actually one like the one around the side of the house i showed and maybe yesterday or day before yesterday's video we're making one come around starting from that that uh beam right up there you see and he's shaping it and it's coming around up here in the front it's a little hard with all this bamboo and I can't step backwards, I'll fall off the house. And it's going right there as well. Then we got a fix where they ain't chipped up there where I didn't want them to chip. We'll get to that later. But uh, it's all coming together. There's a purpose for all of these. It's gonna look great. Not only does it uh, give the house character, it defines some areas where things are gonna go like cladding and all. And it's gonna look really, good and it's nice to get to these finishing stages of putting in these nice places like this well joel's waiting on me right here to get started here's that drill joel that bit there might be bigger we may need to reduce it down would you lay would you lay these tools in there for me i won't use them on the staircase here soon this one here also i head around over here to get some anchors They've been here since, I guess, y'all got here about 7.30 this morning, I guess. And they've been here steadily working on the handrail. Look at that. They have been busy, busy. Hey, if y'all get hot here, get that tarpaulin there and pull over, you know, if you get too hot right here. It's looking really good. Now, sometimes you subscribers will ask me, James, what should I send in a ballot buying box? Well, I don't have just a definite long list of items that you should send but i can make suggestions in my videos here and there and one of the things i suggest is bringing if you're going to be doing a project like this you're going to have to bolt things to concrete which is mostly what you're going to be doing here in the philippines concrete and the wood you're going to need lag bolts and you're going to need concrete anchors now um there's ways people will make their own concrete anchors, shoving a piece of wood or bamboo in a hole, run screwing it and all. That's not long term. That's going to give way and then it's going to come loose. Uh, lead shield anchors and lag bolts. The, um, I really suggest those. And if you're going to be near a salty environment like I am, you need to go ahead and buy stainless steel lag bolts. Uh, the sizes of things that you think you're going to need to anchor. In fact, just a couple days ago, Vince came over here from his house project and he was looking for lag bolts. They had been out hitting hardware stores and all, could not find them. I sent him to go down to Far Eastern here in Iloilo. I don't know what your city has, that's what our city has. And you can find some of those things there. Um, for me, stainless steel. You might wanna get galvanized, that would probably work pretty good. Uh, ordinary zinc plated, it'll last a little while, it'll eventually corrode. Plain steel, I'd stay away from them. Don't go cheap. And, you know, get a variety of sizes. You're probably gonna need some three-eighths, some one-quarters, and a variety of lengths. Like I say, that, 
the um, the anchors go with them. Now these came with some windows I bought that I didn't like them and I still don't like them. And so I have a variety of anchors here with me. Let me show you. So here in my drawers, you see I've got little anchors here. Different, different lead anchors of different lengths in here. I probably got more in the other drawers here too. Let's see, I got some hardware for the boat in there. Like I say, stainless steel, lag bolts are a must. They are definitely a must boat parts. <laughs> Um, but these ordinary ones look it's this uh, ordinary and look in the tray inside the drawer it's rusting you see that rusting even setting in the dry inside the drawer and I find that a lot in my hardware lots of stainless steel screws that's another thing not just lag bolts but stainless steel screws but I have more lag bolts here I'm just trying to see the right drawer I've got lots of hardware um, trying to see where my big ones are. I've got several of these trays, but you get my point. I've got many trays here, so I can't see them all right now. I've got multiples of these trays. I sent these over in ballot buying boxes, just full of um, electrical connections and things like that as well, hardware. We're gonna work on a different project, and we'll just let this start after he finished chipping. So I got this plastic tube and we're gonna put it together and I'm going to set a concrete nail. We need a couple concrete nails. If we can find maybe like two concrete nails and, and maybe a couple pieces of small tie wire so we can tie it. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put these plastic tubes together and I'm gonna anchor out here where the bottom of the landing would come and I'm gonna bend these tubes in the air and up and put a, a concrete nail up there as well of where the staircase is going to end. And it's going to form my curve that I can start setting a visual line off of. And I can go and transcribe that over to the wall all the way around and, and transcribe that, that curve from being just out on that tube in the air to actually on the wall. And then off that line off the wall, I can start setting my my treads my my treads my rises and put it together now i have some already on the wall here but this is when i was going to do a landing and you see i have some here already set and that's when i was going to do a landing here and turn and then go up but i changed my mind i wanted to do something more unique this will be my first time to ever do this uh this tube idea i didn't see it on no video or nothing online this is something that just come up out of my head that I've done this before on my own to use the plastic tube to form a curve and get it just the way I want it and crop it. And then do, like I said, transcribe that. And I do it even like shaping these flower beds out here and all. I'll use this plastic tube to form a nice curve and then we'll mark around that and then we create those nice curves out there. So let's see how this works. And as I say this, I'm not joking, this is my first time to ever do a curved staircase like this. Um, I'm completely green at it. I built staircases, quite a few of them, but not, not like this. And uh, y'all follow this journey with me and I'm gonna enjoy it. I know there's gonna be people out there trying to give me advice on how to do it. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and warn you, you can, and share those ideas with others in the comments. Don't be afraid to. But just know, my videos are about a week and a half behind. So whatever you see me doing today, I'm already a week and a half past it. And so when you're telling me, oh, do it like this and that, I've probably already built it in the time <laughs> that you're gonna comment. It's probably already been done by the day that you're seeing this video. And, uh, and that's just telling the truth. But whatever you got to say, I really don't mind you sharing it. Share it for others if it's a good piece of advice and you're in the trades and you know how to do that. Uh, share other tips. Put it in my comment section so that other people can read it. Maybe I can read it and share it to other viewers as well so that they can get you know, more ideas than just something James come up with out of his head. I kind of started laying this out. I'm gonna give you a little rundown of what I've done so far, okay? 
So here you can see this tube flowing up right there. Let me back that out. You can see it flowing up. I drilled in up there on the side of that. We set a couple of concrete nails. We, we didn't hammer them in. I didn't want to break the concrete. We drilled holes and then shoved them in with a piece of wood next to them just to make them fit tight and tie that. I measured down from what our finish would be after we tile up there at the top of what the uh, next tread should come to right there, making that the first step right there. So you can see my lines. And then we went down another three inches to allow for the belly of the beast, the bottom of the staircase where all the reinforcing steel is. I may adjust that down to four inches. I have it at three right now. It's not that important at the moment. And then I measured the width and I have another line up there for so the first one's the top of the tread of the first step. And the next one's the bottom of how thick the concrete is underneath the steps. And I may add one more inch on that. Then that width from the wall over here to there, I allowed extra for when we put that cladding on this wall over here and got the width on my treads there. Um, then down here, I've done the same thing here at the bottom. We measured over off the wall. We allowed for the cladding on the wall. We made us a straight line. Took square, measured off. We drilled a hole in the concrete here. We set a piece of rebar, nice and tight so we can tie. We allowed for the thickness of what the mortar bed and the tile would be. And we measured for an average of a seven inch rise on a tread. Now it may be different. It may not be a seven inch rise, but that's that's what I'm shooting for. And when I did the math on this, it should come out something like seven and one fourth if all these steps come out just right. And I'll know about that later if I did the math right. But this will make a constant curve step going up and around. Now, we just got that ladder propped on the tube right now. We don't know if that angle is just perfect at the moment, but I'll measure all that out and see. We'll get it all leveled up, and then we would, at these prescribed places, transcribe a mark over onto the wall over here. But that's my idea, and then I may flare the bottom of it here. I may, I may when we actually do the steps, I may curve this bottom out more, making that last step out wider right there. Front door is going to come in right here and when you walk in you would either be able to go straight up that staircase or right over into the living room. If you were in the living room going towards the stairs you wouldn't literally have to come all the way in front of the door somebody was opening it to go into the staircase right there. So if you had a situation somebody's walking in the front door and that door swinging if I curve the bottom out you can clear that door swinging and still go up and down the staircase. We're gonna see how it works out. I'll let you know. Fly with the stars, sound free. Party all day, every weekend. Make it boom, boom to the beat. Make it boom, 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 boom. Fly with the stars, sound free. Party all day, every weekend. to be a lie, 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 yeah. cause I don't wanna waste my time, no, I'm young and dumb and hopeless, right, but I'm bound to turn out alright.